It's an issue that is causing the Indian Army sleepless nights. Nax lights have been responsible for attacking government officials, blowing up army trucks and targeting the local police. They have been fighting for representation in the local governments, but their voices so far have been unheard. As the Indian Army and Nax lights continue to fight violent battles against each other, thousands of innocent civilians are caught up in the conflict. The Naxalites came to our village one night. They picked up my brother, took him to the outskirts of the village and killed him. They alleged that my brother was a police informer, which is not true. The Naxalite insurgency has a presence in over 200 districts in India. These districts are very rich in mineral resources like coal and iron ore, but are inhabited by tribal people who suffer from high levels of illiteracy, poverty and lack of development. So far, about 6,000 people have lost their lives to Naxalite violence, but members of the rebel movement say they do not intend to harm the civilians. The rebels are pressing for the creation of a communist state comprising tribal areas in the state of Andhra Pradesh, Maharashtra, Orissa, Bihar and Chhattisgarh. There has been an increase in their violent activities in recent years. They have destroyed bridges and railway tracks and demolished government offices. The Naxalite issue is not just a law and order problem, as they enjoy sympathy and support of the locals. Trying to um, brand any uh, democratic movement leader such as Maoist is. So the Odisha government, especially the Chief Minister Nabin Patna's administration, is using, misusing this also, this uh, uh, anti maoist campaign uh, against the democratic movements. According to India's intelligence agency, there are more than 60,000 militia men in the Naxalite army and millions of sympathizers. Due to pressure from activists and human rights groups, the government recently agreed to speak to the Naxals. And they're using violence and force, as you can see, on a regular basis. So till they shun this part of force and violence and lawlessness and crime, then of course there can be a dialogue. The Indian government is planning a major military offensive against the Naxalites to bring much needed political and economic stability to the region. However, analysts say a military operation against an invisible target in an unfamiliar terrain could lead to a tremendous loss of civilian lives. Amrit Rambu, Press TV.